guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a what's in my dance bag 2019 guys this is my second year of doing dance I've been doing ballet hip-hop and I've also recently just auditioned for a Christmas show the journey to Toyland where I play a soldier and a party guest so I guess you could say that I spend a lot of my time doing dance and I like to do it at home as well so I pretty much spend around three days per week um, doing dance and to me that's quite a lot and I guess you could say that's one of the things that I do the most in my life so in today's video I wanted to show you guys what I keep in my dance bag because I take my dance bag all the time when I go to do dance for a class so I have pretty essential things in my bag that I keep when I need it for dance so I thought in this video I would show you a tour of what's in my dance bag what things I need for dance maybe some tips for you if you're also a dancer and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video but if you haven't already watched my last week's video it was a how I organized my LPS things I'll leave it up here in the eye in the corner and if you haven't already joined my family make sure to click that big red subscribe button and that bell because you guys we are almost at 200 subscribers I can't believe we're already there. I think we have around 190, which is the last time I checked. So please, if you haven't already, please, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do because we are almost at 200 subscribers, which is a milestone. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight into what's in my dance bag 2019. This, you guys, is my dance bag. Um, I got this bag from Justice, and it actually was my school bag last year and since I got a brand new one for grade 8 I thought I would use this just for dance so um, I got this backpack from Justice it's this really pretty vibrant hot pink color it has a V at the front for my name and it also moves its sequence so you can play around with the backpack I think it's super cute it has two front pockets and two side pockets and it's just really cute small backpack that I just like to use for dance um, if you don't want to buy a brand new bag just specifically for dance, I suggest using some type of bag you have lying around your house. Like, I didn't buy this just for dance. I had this last year for school, and since I got a brand new backpack, I thought I would use this for dance. So if you have any bag or backpack lying around in your house, I suggest using that because for dance, you don't need a lot of room, you don't need something special, you just need a bag to carry around with all your essentials. And yeah, so this is the bag that I'm using. It's really cute and I like it and it's not heavy on my back so yeah so on the side right here I have a space for my water bottle um, so this water bottle is from Walmart and it was $10 and it's super cute it has like a metal gray color and then it ombres into this really pretty light pink color I think it's super cute I love it it fits one water in here and um, yeah it's really nice and I bring this to dance every single class that way I have some hydration so that's what I keep on the side on the other side I don't keep anything if I have garbage or Kleenex that's what I'll probably put in there I mean let's be over let's be realistic um, but yeah all right so starting off with the big front pocket so that's the first one right here um, so in here I keep um, first thing I keep in here is my student folder. So at my dance studio, at the start of each season, you each dancer gets their own gray folder like this. And in here, it has a student planner. So it has, it's kind of like a calendar. Um, it has all the months and then it says what events are coming up, uh, if you have when are your classes, all that kind of stuff. So you can plan out your dance classes and stuff like that. So this I have always in my backpack because you're supposed to bring it to every class. And yeah, it's just a student planner where I plan out all my classes and events and recitals and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I have in here. The second thing that I have is my hip hop shoes. So um, I bought specifically brand new shoes just for hip hop because you're not allowed to wear street shoes into class. I'm probably sure that happens to every dance studio. 
Um, so I bought these super basic kangaroo shoes. They are black and white and they're in the size eight and a half in women. I think they're getting pretty small because I used these last year as well. So I might have to bump up a size maybe to a nine or nine and a half. Um, but they're really cute. They're just black and white, which is what I prefer. They're super comfortable and they're just really basic just for hip hop. Um, so yeah, these are the kinds of shoes that I use for hip hop and I keep them in my first pocket. Um, yeah, so the next thing that I have in here are my ballet shoes. So for ballet, these are the ones that I use. Um, I got I got them from Dance Unlimited and um, they're really cute. Um, and you know, they're just basic ballet shoes that I use and they look really used because I've used, this is my second year using them. Um, but yeah, I have no problem with them. They're not getting any smaller at least now. And um, yeah, so these are my ballet shoes. Um, next in here I have some ballet tights, just in case the ones that I'm wearing at the moment in class maybe rip or they're too small, I have ones to change into, so I have some ballet tights in here. And then, of course, you have to complete the look. I also have my leotard in here. Now, usually, this wouldn't be um, in my backpack in class because I only have one leotard, so I'd be wearing this. Um, so, yeah, um, this is my leotard. It's super cute. It's obviously black, and then it has this really pretty flower-like neck design, I guess, and it's really cute. So, yeah, that's my leotard, and that's what I keep in the first pocket. So in the second pocket, which is our last pocket that I'm showing you guys today, I keep my Therabands. So I'm pretty sure every dancer knows what this is, but if you don't know, I'll explain it to you right now. Um, but Therabands are like this rubber like band, obviously, and you usually have three different ones. One is light, one is medium, and one is hard or heavy. Um, so these you usually use to turn out your foot and um, focus on your like toe muscles. And um, you sh I always use this for ballet and sometimes if I want to stretch my toes out at home. So um, I have three, you're supposed to have three. So this one is my light one. It's a really pretty turquoise color um, and it's the one that I preferably use, light. Um, and then I have my medium one which is this gray one really basic, just a little bit um, harder to expand. And then if you want to go full out and hard, this is my hard one. It's the black one and it's super hard to expand, which is what it's used for. So that's what I keep in my second pocket, TheraBands, because sometimes my teacher does ask for them during class. Um, but I also keep them in there just in case I want to stretch my feet out at home. Um, the next thing that I have in here are just some hygiene things. So I have here my deodorant. Now I just got a new, brand new deodorant. It's the Nevea Natural Comfort 0% Aluminum um, Deodorant, and it's also 48 hours protection. Um, yeah, this is the one that I use. It smells really nice and natural, and it, I don't stink throughout the day. So yeah, I always keep my deodorant in there just in case I need to reapply. The second thing I keep in here is some lotion because it is getting really cold here in Canada. So my hands always start getting a rash and dry and crusty. So I always have um, lotion on the hand wherever I'm going. Um, sorry if that sounded very disgusting to you. Um, but I use the Magic in the Air from Bath and Body Works 24 hour moisture body lotion. And I just apply this to my hands if my hands are getting really dry. Um, and then the next thing I have is some perfume. Now I have this specific pink perfume case so it doesn't leak. But in here at the current movement I have the Ari by Ariana Grande perfume. So if I kind of stink throughout the day and I just want to smell nicer I guess, I don't know what that was. Um, I have perfume on the hand. I always have perfume wherever I'm going, just, you know, scent free. Wait, what? That didn't make any sense. Okay, and the last thing that I have in this bag is my phone. I obviously bring my phone wherever I'm going if I need to text or call someone, or, you know, if I'm waiting for class and I'm bored, I can check Snapchat or just maybe apply to my emails and stuff like that. So I always keep my phone. So that, you guys, is all that is in my dance bag. Um, these are the essentials that I always bring to dance. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's all that I keep in my dance bag. Nothing special. I hope you maybe heard some tips or something that you don't have in your dance bag that you want to add in to help you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, make sure to subscribe so we can get on to 200 subscribers. I can't believe we're already there. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next one.